Good morning, everybody. Appalachian's Jay here with today's vlog. It is now 9.30 in the morning on June 3rd, 2018. And we have survived night three out on the road with this stealth camping, quasi-van nomadism stuff that we're trying to do here, Murder Dog and I. Yeehaw! All right, so yeah, last night we stayed in a local... I think this is a state park. I was trying to think of that before I started recording, and I went to go look it up, and I'm just, I'm kind of tired, so I didn't bother. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the state parks. But yesterday, after uh, after I recorded my video yesterday, and then I went to go meet with my lawyer, like I, uh, like I mentioned, I met up with uh, the kids and my wife, and we went and got some food, and then went to a local park, went to the local park to hang out, or one of the local parks to hang out for the day. And an old friend who we hadn't seen in a while, who actually, yesterday I, I checked Facebook briefly, and the On This Day feature, which I have remarked before, I, I, I enjoy a lot, even though I hate Facebook for the most part, I do enjoy that because it reminds me of all the memes I've made over the years, and when I'm too lazy to make new ones, I can just pull those out of there and reshare them, and they tend to get a lot more shares. So... I just happened to stumble across a memory from exactly five years ago from yesterday where we had hung out with this friend, our friend Lori, and, uh, you know, with the kids and everything, and she took a bunch of pictures. So I said, hey, perfect timing. We're going to a park again on the same exact day five years later. So I, I shared the uh, memory and tagged her in it and said, hey, you want to make it a five-year reunion today? And as luck would have it, she was free, so she came to hang out with us, and we spent the day at the park. And then uh, when the kids and Jen had to finally leave to go home and do the dinner thing and they needed baths and they got to bed, uh, Lori and I stayed there and just talked for hours because, you know, we haven't seen each other in a while. So we were just sitting there telling stories and whatever. And she's a, she's a big camper. So she, uh, first of all, she was awesome and brought Cameron and I a battery-powered fan with an LED light for the car. This is something I had considered purchasing, but every review I read on all the ones I found were all like, this is a piece of garbage, it barely blows in the air. She decided to buy one anyway and never got around to using it, so she let us have it. With a box full of batteries, too, so that's awesome. Lori, you rock. Because <clears throat> um, we actually tested it out last night, and, you know, it blew a little bit of air, you know, but I had it positioned right on camera, so she seemed to enjoy it. The LED light was bright as hell, so it illuminated uh, the back of the car for us, so I didn't have to turn on any of the lights so we could hang out there last night, so that was great. Uh, but anyway, the point of all that was that uh, in discussions with her about possible ideas of where I could go or new, you know, new places I could try to camp, she had mentioned the one of the parks, which is uh, actually just down the block from the park we were hanging out at, and uh, my first instinct was, oh, that's a county or a town park. They close those at night. She goes, oh, she goes, no, you idiot. <laughs> There's no gate on that one. The marina's down there. And it took me a second for, for it took a second for it to click. And I was like, what are you? And she's like, the marina. People need to get to their boats whenever they want. I was like, oh, it's open 24-7 because of the marina. So, sure enough. Uh, after her and I finally parted ways last night, and that was only because it started pouring again. Uh, I headed over to this park, checked it out, and sure enough, you know, there's cars parked at the marina, nobody there, because people are out on their boats. You know, people coming and going on their boats all night. And the park itself is patrolled by the uh, road pirates, but that's for the park part of it, because, you know, you're not supposed to be hanging out in the park itself after night. But the marina... They largely leave alone unless there's any complaints or noise, you know, excessive noise or there's any problems. So as long as you go down there and you're quiet, they leave you alone. So we set up shop uh, around 10 o'clock last night. I actually put up all the blackout shades, which uh, did a, a pretty pretty good job. Um, still going to get around to doing a full review on them one of these days. But, uh, you know, like I had mentioned the last time, the ones on the, on the on the driver and the passenger windows are a little bit short, but, you know, they're universals and they're also basically rectangles and the front, you know, the driver passenger windows are not perfect rectangles. So it covered all but about, I think, three or four inches towards the front end of the windows. So I just took a couple of my hand towels that I have laying around and I, I've showed you guys before that are usually hanging up here when I need to dry them out um, and just put those on the, on the, front part of the driver and the passenger window, and that blocked out everything else. Uh, they covered the 
suicide door windows. They were more than enough to cover the suicide windows, just like I had thought, because those are smaller windows. And they actually covered the entire width of the uh, back windows, too, uh, of the backside windows, too, which I, I thought there might be a little gap there, but no, it covered that. And then that extra piece that I had mentioned that my wife gave me that was supposed to be designed as some kind of snow cover for your bumper to keep, like, the snow off and stuff, but it's made out of the same exact material. It was too big for the back for the uh, back window, but I managed to fold it up a little bit and also tuck it under the, uh, the pet barrier that I have up in the back that I showed you guys yesterday that I, I grabbed from the wife so that I can leave the tailgate open and let Cameron hang out in there. And uh, I just show, I just tucked it under there, and it worked. We were you know there are little bits of cracks of light coming in here and there, but overall it was relatively dark in there, and that LED light that my friend Lori gave me was great. And uh, once we had everything set up, sat down, and uh, actually decided to watch a movie last night because it was uh, still relatively early. And I figured, ah, oh, what the heck? So sat down and watched Thor Ragnarok. This, uh, I love that movie. It's just, it just makes me laugh. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a good one as far as I'm concerned. It's not one of Marvel's best. Eh, it's up there, but I don't know if it's my favorite. But it's, it was on my laptop, so I decided to watch that last night. And then uh, after that was done, I uh, closed up shop and went to bed. And, you know, the night was successful. Nobody bothered us. Uh, as usual, I woke up before 6 a.m. because, well, I'm getting to be an old man, and my bladder's like, yeah, I don't care if you peed right before you went to bed, dude. You still got to pee, so I had to get up and pee. But this time, I forced myself to go back to sleep, try to go back to sleep because it was 5.30 in the morning. I was still kind of groggy, and I managed to get a couple more hours. We woke, I woke up again. It was like 8.30. I was like, wow, this is the latest I've slept, and I can't, you know, it feels like forever. But uh, so... It was a pretty, it was a pretty darn successful night, and I think we'll, we will be making use of this location again. We may not do it every night because I don't want to draw any undue attention to ourselves. And if the same car keeps showing up there all the time, you know, they might get a little suspicious, especially because I do have the car carrier and whatnot. But you know, for tonight, it was for last night, it was awesome, and I, I will definitely come here again. The other bonus of this particular park is that it does have a dog run. We're actually parked just outside of it right now. Uh, murder dog is itching to go in there, but uh, I wanted to get this video recorded because I had to car I, I had to start up the car and drive us over here anyway from the, from the marina part of the park. And then reorganize the car a little bit because obviously it wouldn't be sleep at night. I got to move some of the stuff from the back up to the driver's seat. So I moved all that around and I actually had to shake out the blanket that we have covering the bottom of the back of the car because... Uh, between her and I jumping in and out of the car, even though I try to wipe her paws every time she gets in, especially if we're dealing with any type of, you know, if we're near any water or anything. And uh, I try to take my shoes off before I hop in the vehicle. Still a bunch of stuff managed to collect on the bottom, so I basically just stripped the, I took everything out, put it next to the car, stripped the blanket out with Murder Dog inside. I had actually wanted to throw her in the dog park while we were doing this, but there's a lot of people there, and uh, they don't like it if you put your dog in there and you're not there with them. Even though you know murder dogs not gonna hurt anybody, but I don't want to piss I don't want to piss people off like that. So uh, I just left her in the vehicle and worked around her and took everything out, shook the blanket out, put the blanket back in, and then built the back back up. And uh, since the car was running during that process, because I wanted to get the electric cooler uh, a little bit of a charge, which by the way is also still working well. Full review on it still to come. Um, I haven't left it running, I think the longest I've left it running was like six hours or so, but that's just when I was driving around a lot and also parked and let it running, because as we learned the other day, can't let it run on the accessory. Um, but uh, it's doing a decent job of keeping things cool. It's not, I, I do have some ice packs in there, which do need to be taken out and be refrozen at some point, because they lost their freeze and uh, even getting, a, uh, you know, getting close to 40 degrees, it's supposed to get down to 40 in that thing when, you, when it's fully uh, charged up. Uh, it, even at that, it's obviously not going to refreeze the, freeze those, so I have to take care of that at some point. Luckily, again, I'm local. I could probably get from my wife. She could put them in the freezer over the overnight and bring them back to me the next day, so we'll make that work. But overall, it's, uh, you know, it's working well. It's keeping everything in there decently cool with me running it uh, just while we're driving around or like now when we're sitting and I'm, I, I have the car running because I like to plug the laptop in anyway. I think my laptop battery, unfortunately, is starting to go because... It used to be I could let it run for a couple hours without a uh, without the, without it being charged or you know without it being plugged in. And now, last night I started to watch the movie and half an hour in it kicked off, it started to kick off on me. I was like, well crap, I guess we got to plug this bad boy in now. So 
I may need a new laptop battery, but hell, this Dell is now six or seven years old, and I use it constantly, so I can't really uh, can't really blame the battery for finally giving up. So we may need to uh, get one on, another one of those, but as long as I can plug in, we're fine. So. So yeah, so since, since it was running, and uh, I figured we get this video out of the way now, and get some stuff charged, you know, phone needed to charge too. Uh, I actually, uh, other thing I wanted to mention is the campsite that I kind of borrowed <laughs> the night before, and as I said, I did throw money at the door when I left. I left, I left away five bucks for uh, just letting me keep the spot that night. I actually called back yesterday to check if it was okay if I actually came in and like officially registered. And it turns out they do actually offer spots for campers because I had mentioned all I saw was RVs there and it seemed to be predominantly an RV camp park. But the gentleman I spoke to said they do have like 10 spots somewhere in the back that they, you know, set up for campers, obviously with no water, no electricity like the RV spots have. But they want 35 bucks a night for that. And there's no showers. Now, they do, I, as I mentioned, they did, you know, they, the reviews said they had clean bathrooms and stuff. And sure enough, the bathroom I checked out there was really clean. Uh, I said it to my friend yesterday. I'm like, I, I wouldn't say you could eat off the floors, but the five-second rule might be in play. Like, it was pretty darn clean. So it was, I was impressed. But no shower. So for 35 bucks a night to be wedged in the back on a small spot, which I... You know, they held a spot for me last night. I said I might be able to show up because they close. I think the guy leaves at like 5 o'clock, and you're supposed to register before then. And normally they ask you for a credit card to hold your spot and whatnot. I explained my situation. I said, listen, man, I'm out on the road. My dog and I are in my vehicle. Uh, we're traveling around. You know, we're, we're trying to hit up different spots. And uh, I, don't, I don't have a credit card. I don't have a debit card. I'm like, I, carry, I, I could do everything in cash. I'm like, I, I can definitely pay you. I just, you know, if, if you need something to hold the spot, unfortunately, I don't have that. And he was actually nice enough to say, listen, you know what? I'll pencil you in for a spot. I'll give you a number. If you show up, you show up. If you don't, whatever. But if you do show up, somebody will come by in the morning and we'll, you could pay them that. And I was like, well, that's actually, no, I appreciate that. But then he told me the price and I was like, 35 bucks, 35 bucks just to hang out there. It's just not worth it. You know, I, I've, I've discussed before the uh, the fact that there's none of the free campsites around here, which are recommended by a lot of people who do this stuff. You know, there's the different websites. You can actually look up free websites all across the country. And the two closest to here, there's one up in Connecticut. And there's one a little bit ways upstate. I think like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, two hours from here uh, up in New York, upstate New York or in the lower part of upstate New York. And those are the two closest. Everything else around here is, is is paid camping. And, you know, again, I don't know. I've paid for camping, you know, throughout my entire life. I don't have a problem with that. But 35 bucks for a night, it's insane. And they want 57 for the for the spot that I stayed in to have the power and the water for the RV hookups and stuff. And that's just crazy. And unfortunately, they can get away with that because they're the closest campsite going westward. You know, there's, I don't think there's another campsite from here into the city and past the city and stuff. So, you know, a lot of the reviews on the different pages when you check this place out, you know, a lot of them are pretty relatively positive. The place was clean. People were nice. You know, we had a good time. But anytime somebody discusses the price, they, you know, it's all like, yeah, it was a little pricey, but, you know, we wanted to go to New York City. We were traveling from out of state or we were doing this. And we wanted to see this. We wanted to see this. And it was the closest we could get. Yeah. When you're the closest campsite possible... And, you know, if you're somebody who wants to, who's traveling off to New York and wants to visit New York City and is in an RV and is going to stay out on Long Island, the closest from that campsite, you're still about an hour out. So, like, that's the closest you can get. But the, because it's still the closest, they can charge a higher price. You know, that would work. Supply, demand, you know, all those type of things. I get that. Um, but it's just, it's too rich for my blood. Not, not where, especially because on most nights, I would most likely not be sick getting, you know, if I stayed there, I probably wouldn't get there until like 7, 8 o'clock at night after I hung out with kids and everything. It's just not worth it for me for like 12, you know, 12, maybe 16 hours if I'm allowed to clear out that by noon. 35 bucks for 16 hours. And especially, you know, unless it's a beautiful day and night and it's expected to be beautiful the next day, I probably wouldn't even bother to set up the tent. So not worth it. So I probably won't be going back there. Uh, yeah, that, that was, that was kind of a bummer. So, you know, now I'm going to look for other places. And like I said, I did the Marina thing last night, thanks to my friend's suggestion. She actually had another one for me. 
Apparently, I was not aware of this. There is a brand new or relatively new rest stop up on the good old LIE, which is actually, I think, the only official one now on Long Island. Despite the fact that the LIE runs like quite a ways across Long Island, you know, this isn't exactly a tiny island. It's rather long, um, hence the name. And uh, and still, the only one. But it's set up with bath, you know, bathrooms. Um, security and stuff, but it's designed for people to stop and stay at. It's one of those places like any other rest stop across the country where, you know, you're, it's always recommended if you're driving long distances and you feel tired and you, do, you know, you start to yawn instead of, instead of putting yourself and other people in danger, pull over and take a nap. It's one of those type of places. So it's designed for that. So I may go check that one out tonight just to see. Now, again, these places, you know, they're well lit. So like from a security standpoint, you have to, you know, you have to worry about less about somebody trying to come attack you unless it's somebody in a blue uniform. But again, because it, you're supposed to stay there for these purposes, I don't think I would be bothered. So we're probably going to go test that out at least one night just to see, you know, just for a different experience because I, I want to get as many places around here that I can find to be successful at. So if, you know, in the future anybody else wants to try this, at least you have an idea of where you can stay around here. Because as I've been discussing with a couple of people across the country who have either who are either doing this or have done this in the past, you know, they're all like, "Oh, you can check this out or, or go to this website." I'm like, "Yeah, you guys don't understand. There's none of that up here because most people don't even, you know, I don't, I don't think most people realize Long Island exists. They're just like, "Oh, you live in New York, okay?" You know, like my buddy Dave, uh, my co-host in the Seas of Liberty, who's still one of those people who thinks New York City and New York are the same thing. You know, when you talk about the city, oh, it's all the city. They're all horrible people. It's like, no, no it's not how it works. There's a bunch of different sections out here. <laughs> Upstate's completely different than down here in the, down in the city or even out in the suburbs of Long Island where I live. But anyway, so I'm definitely going to try to test that one out at some point. But like I said, this uh, this marina worked really well. And I think, uh, I think I'm definitely going to make use of this one again, especially because of not only the added bonus of people leaving me alone because, you know, cars are expected to be parked down there overnight, but also because there's bathrooms here. Uh, and the dog park is here, and uh, it's also, you know, real, it's, it's right next to one of the parkways, too, so I can easily get out of here and hop on the parkway and go pretty much wherever I need to go in it, it, it very, very quickly. So it has a lot of bonuses, you know, has, has a lot of pluses, so I think I'll definitely make use of this one again. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think. Do we have, you know, that was pretty much it yesterday. We didn't have... It rained, like I said, uh, you know, we got, it was beautiful when I woke up, uh, when I recorded the video yesterday morning, it was gorgeous out. Uh, it was beautiful when I was hanging out at my lawyer's office, wait, because after, uh, after I was, you know, it was a really quick meeting with him, I ran in, gave him the money, handed him the, some of the closing paperwork for my house so he could make copies and bring that to the VA. That was the one bit of quasi good news in that regard I got yesterday. Uh, my lawyer did inform me that number one Monday uh, uh, tomorrow. Well, to now tomorrow he's going to go and hand the court reporter the money I gave him because, as I've discussed in the past, I, I had to pay for the goddamn notes from the court reporter, which is just insane. Uh, but I gave him that, and then when I gave him the other paperwork, he said he's going to take that to the DA either Monday or maybe Tuesday, depending on when they'll, when they'll actually meet with him. And he's going to now try once again to say, "Listen." Here is the closing paperwork. I've been telling you guys this for months. Here it is. This guy is legitimately homeless. He, no, he legitimately no longer owns property here on Long Island. He is desperately trying to get out of here. Please let him leave. Now, of course, with everything that's happened, I'm not counting on anything changing, but there's still a chance because now I have the official paperwork. So we'll see. Hopefully, he said by Wednesday, I'll have, you know, I'll have an answer on that one way or another if, it, if, it, if you know, if that moved them in any way. Because that, that was kind of the, both of my lawyers have said this the whole time. That was kind of, kind of be their play, was that, listen, we're not asking you to just, you know, dismiss this and, you know, he'll be a good boy here from now on. No, he's not even going to be your problem anymore. He's going to be in a completely different state. So just let him leave and let him be their problem. And, uh, you know, that's kind of been my, both my lawyers' attitudes, and I'm fine with that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, you know, it was beautiful. Like I said, it was beautiful then. And then after I was done with my lawyer, uh, I had to wait for the kids and, and, and my wife to be ready, uh, cause they were moving a little slowly. So, uh, I just kind of hung out in the parking lot cause you know, got, got free Wi-Fi there. So I sat there and I think that's where I uploaded. Oh no, I uploaded the video at the library yesterday. That's right. I stopped at, I stopped at one of the public libraries and used their Wi-Fi. 
Um, but I just kind of hung out there and got to use the Wi-Fi so I could play online and uh, answer a lot of because uh, I, I have been thankfully and I appreciate this guys because I say this all the time when it comes to my podcast and stuff. But I always ask, please give me feedback, whether it's my show, whether it's Seed the Liberty, whether when I'm on the Wolverts, whether I do the Freedom Beans. Give us feedback. Let us know. Ask us questions. Um, you know, if anything struck a chord with you when we were talking. And we rarely get things. I mean, people like our stuff. People share our stuff. Or people say stuff like, good job. or really loved it. And I, we always appreciate that. I, I appreciate any type of feedback. But, like, the more in-depth stuff with questions or suggestions, like, that I appreciate so much more. And with this blog series, especially now that I've been out on the road, I've been getting a lot more interaction. And thank you, everybody. I really appreciate that. Whether it's the tips that I'm getting from uh, people who have done this in the past. I mean, you guys rock. You're, uh, you're definitely saving me a hell of a lot of time. I don't have to look a lot of shit up. When you're just like, hey, try this out. Hey, look at this site. Hey, test. It's great, man. And you know, like I said, when I'm, when I'm somebody who's trying to find Wi-Fi all the time, because as I've mentioned, I don't have a, a unlimited data plan on my phone, it helps that I can save time like that. Um, so it's been great, the interaction, all the people that have been doing that, or just the people like you know cheering me up and giving me like their stories. Or asking me questions um, it's been great and please keep it up it's uh, it's helping me a lot and uh, you know it's nice to have interaction with people I appreciate that it, it lets me know that not only are you guys trying to support me but you're actually fucking watching it's great <laughs> you know I get tons of people especially on steam it there's always those noobs on steam it who try to like posts and they're like the hope in hope you know hope upvote for upvote oh i uploaded you please upvote me and they obviously have no steam power so like their vote is like nothing it's a zero cent vote or whatever um but they write stuff like oh good job or great video or such great stuff but it's like two seconds after you posted it and you know goddamn well there's no way in hell they could have possibly watched your video or listened to your podcast or even read whatever you have up there like in that short of time it's impossible you can't it's physically impossible for anybody even me as a speed reader couldn't pull that off so <laughs> Um, so the people that are actually responding to things I'm saying in the videos, especially later on in the videos, it means you're watching through the whole way through, and I really appreciate it. Because um, number one, it makes me feel good that people are finally listening to, my, to what I've been asking. <laughs> um, but also, it, it, you know, it shows me that you know people are really supporting this and uh, re really trying to, you know, and I have a bunch of people asking me every day, "Oh, is the video up yet? I want to see what you're up to," and, and that's great, you know, because. I, that's the re uh, big reason I'm doing this, is to chron chronicle this whole experience. So uh, I, ha I have a record of, of what I went through and what was successful and what was not. So the fact that pe other people are getting something out of this already, I'm so stoked, man. It, it, it makes me feel good. And, you know, this is giving me something to do. As, as I mentioned to uh, one friend yesterday who's given me a lot of tips on stuff, and Demetrius, thank you so much, man. You were super helpful with all that. Um, you, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, Oh, damn it. I did it again. I lost my train of thought. Every time I do that, I go to reach for somebody's name. I'm getting fucking old, folks. I got to stop this shit. Anyway, this is uh, this this is a great experience. Oh, that's what that's what it was. Um, you know, he's, he mentioned that I the, the video should be a second thought. I should just be out here enjoying this. And while I totally agree with him that I, that, and I told him this, that I, that, you know, I, I want to enjoy this. I want to experience this. I don't want to just, like, be looking through a camera the whole time type of deal. Um, part of the reason I'm doing this, aside from chronicling it, is also to start building a routine for myself because as i mentioned in the in the vlogs before i actually got out on the road like one of the things i wanted to do is start doing yoga on a regular basis um unfortunately the weather's been too crappy to do that so far um but you know that was one of those things obviously for my own health but if i start doing that on a regular basis then i get into routine and i am an anarchist i'm a big fan of chaos but the way my mind works, I do function better if I have some sort, I, the way I put it is some, some semblance of order. It doesn't have to be completely ordered, but if I have some semblance of order, some type of routine, I function better. That's, I know that about myself. So right now, until I get everything else set up and everything else, like kind of figure everything else out and hopefully get into that routine of like doing yoga and maybe pick up another routine that I'll start doing, um, the daily video, especially you know, first thing or relatively first thing in the morning is huge for me because again, it's a routine. It's something I have to, I look forward to that. Um, I, I, I was about to say I have to do, but like, I want to do these, but in my, like my mind, I kind of trick myself. Oh, you got to do that. You have to do this. You have to do this in the morning. You have to do this, get this out of the way. 
So it's not like I'm forcing myself to do it because, oh, you have to do it. But it's just this, like, mental trick I play with myself, and it works. And it, it, it sets me up for the day. So that that's another big reason that I'm doing this, and that's also why I prefer to do it in the morning. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, – so, so that, that, that's why I do this. And again, thank you everybody for watching and thank you everybody for your comments and suggestions. And, uh, you know, I'm going to, a lot of these I'll either straight out implement or I will uh, put on the back burner and, and save as an idea. Uh, another buddy of mine, my buddy Mark, I saw posted a comment this morning on one of my uh, posts. I haven't got a bad chance back to respond to him yet because uh, I, I still got to go find my Wi-Fi spot for the morning um, so I can do a, a so I can you know, search for a while and actually uh, respond to a bunch of messages. But uh, he also threw out the uh, Planet Fitness $20 a month thing. Um, it's starting to look like I may actually have to purchase that membership because the shower deal is not uh, still having, uh, other than being able to pull off the lunar shower I did <laughs> the other night at the campsite, uh, there, I haven't found another good spot to set up my shower. So, yeah, I may, I may have to go ahead and purchase that membership. You know, I mean, that was always, on, that was always in my back pocket. That was always my go-to if everything else failed. I just really wanted to see if I could make this work without doing that. But, you know, again, if I have to spend the 20 or I think it's actually 21 but if I have to spend the $21 a month just so I can get showers consistently... I don't think that's bad, that bad of a deal. I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than spending 35 bucks a night to be able to use my solar shower without, without, while knowing people won't harass me. Like, yeah, still a much better deal. Plus, you get a whole bunch of other uh, benefits by doing the, uh, do, doing the Planet Fitness membership, which, according, according to my buddy Shane at the Vine Podcast, including freaking haircuts. Haircuts. So I could go get a haircut a couple of times a month as part of this twenty one dollar a month deal, uh, twenty one dollar a month deal, which is insane, because even though I actually have a place local that still does cheap haircuts, I think it's six bucks for the buzz cut that I get, which is cheaper than pretty much, which is cheaper than like anywhere else around here. Um, that would still be an even better deal because I usually end up throwing, uh, you know, five bucks a tip, so eleven bucks every time I get my haircut, and if I was to do that twice a month. That's already up to 22 bucks. Well, I could do it twice a month at 20, uh, Planet Fitness for only 21 bucks, and get to shower every day and, and work out if I really felt like it, plus some other services they offer. So, yeah, it's a great deal, and I'm probably going to end up looking into that because, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have much of a choice. Um, plus, like, you know, tomorrow I have to go, I have to take, I have to take murder dogs to the vet. She needs a checkup for her uh, thyroid uh, medicine because, uh, unfortunately, she's getting older. She's got some thyroid issues now, so she's on medication that she has to be on for the rest of her life. But the, the vet wants to test her again and make sure the levels are correct. So I do have to bring her in around noon tomorrow. I would like to be showered for that. You know, I don't like to be a stinky guy showing up places. Um, so, yeah, we may have to uh, – that may actually have to occur today. I may have to go get that unless it starts to warm up. And uh, I can find a place to set, set up that shower today. Because unfortunately, like I said, it rained. Uh, you know, that's why I started. Uh, I, I got off the track for that part. I started to say earlier, you know, it was beautiful all morning. And then when I met up with the kids, we were at the park. And as soon as I got to the park, all of a sudden, it's like this cloud came in. And it just within five minutes, it was pouring on us for like 20 minutes. And then it stopped. But then it was like, you know, cloudy and rainy here and there through the rest of the day. And then, you know, it rained again around 8 or 9 when uh, my friend Lori and I finally separated because it started to pour again. Uh, but then it stopped shortly thereafter. Now, there was supposed to be another thunderstorm last night. As far as I know, it wasn't. I woke up and see, everything seemed pretty dry. And uh, we did leave some of the windows crack last night. Uh, not as much as we did the night before on the campsite. Obviously, on the campsite, we also left the back of the uh, truck open, too, because we weren't, I wasn't worried about anybody sneaking up on us or anything. Um, here, I obviously get to do that because... Even though you're allowed to park there, I didn't need people walking by and just like peering in and then, you know, trying to harass us or whatever. Um, but, you know, that fan that we, the fan that Lori gave us, not super powerful, but it was enough to keep us cool with the windows just cracked. So, uh, but nothing got seemed to get wet inside the car, didn't seem too wet outside the car. So I think, I think it's okay. Um, it is windy as all get out this morning. Um, so hopefully, who knows? I mean, keep checking the weather and it keeps saying, you know, partly cloudy, 20, 30, 50% chance of rain, like every day for like the next couple of weeks, but who the hell knows, we'll see. Um, 
you know, we'll just deal with it. Um, and the wind, the wind's a pain in the ass for a lot of things. Although, um, it's another, actually, I think a good thing for staying at the marina because you're right on the water. So you get that extra breeze off the bay, um, which actually does help cool us down. So even when it's warmer, um, down here, it's always going to be a little bit cooler. So it's another good reason for us to probably stay here more often than not, because even on the warmer nights, It'll be, you know, it's usually five, sometimes 10 degrees cooler down by the water. And you also get the nice breeze coming off the bay a lot more often. And, uh, yeah, that really helps. You know, like I said, getting out of the car, I was almost got blown over at one point because I was still a little groggy. And I wasn't, I didn't have my feet firmly planted. There was a big gust of wind, but it's like, on, you know, that was annoying. But on the other hand, it kept us cool because it kept blowing the wind through the car all night long. So that was nice. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's about it. We, you know, like I said, uh, yesterday was a great day. I mean, despite the rain, I still got to hang out with the kids. Um, granted, I didn't get to play with them as much as I would like to because I had Murder Dog with me. And you're not supposed to have the dogs in the park that we were at. They do have a dog run there. You're allowed to bring them there, but they're not supposed to be through the rest of the park. I, of course, was not going to leave her in the car because it was warmer yesterday. There's no way I was leaving her in the car while we were out there playing. So I brought her into the park anyway, and we just said, screw it. Nobody ended up bothering us. And actually... A lot of the kids and families that were in there were excited to see the dog and wanted to come play with her. So, you know, we had a good time with that. But because I had to keep an eye on her, and I couldn't just let her wander around. Couldn't do a lot of the things that uh, we would normally do. But it was still, it was, it was a good day to hang out, to get to see the kids, and to see, to see our friend who we haven't seen in forever. And my kids had a blast with her. They love playing with her. So, you know, she actually made it easier on the wife and I. We actually got to sit and relax for a second while they, uh, while they were off playing with Lori. So that was great. Um, so, yeah, all in all, a good day. Um, a great day, actually, um, and uh, a very successful night. And, you know, now that we have this cool little fan that Lori gave us, we're, we're super stoked about that. You know, like I said, tested out all the blackout shades last night, and they were pretty successful. I'm almost positive that it wasn't the light that woke me up this morning, and it was my, just my damn bladder. Um, so that's good. So they definitely did their job. And again, considering all told, I spent less than 40 bucks on all of them because it was 10 bucks for the window shade nine bucks for a two pack for the side window things and those are three of those and then the back one i got for free from the wife yeah for less than 40 bucks doing a pretty good job you know a little bit of a hassle having to set them up and take them down and whatnot you know with the suction cups unfortunately uh, once i get to the review of those things the, the suction cups are not the greatest um, but they did all, the, I think, uh, once I finally got them st stuck on there good last night, only one of them, one of the, uh, suction cups on all the windows all put together because there are three, three suction cups per, per uh, blackout shade. So three, six, nine. Yeah, I can count. What's that? Six times three is 18 and then two for the back windows at 20. So out of the 20, out of the 20 suction cups, only one of them popped free through the night. So that's not too bad. Um, they're just, like I said, the quality is not the greatest. So they didn't, it took me a little while to get them to stick permanent, you know, to actually stick and not slide all over the place. Uh, but once I did, they were good. So we'll take it. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, now, like I said, I think, uh, Murder Dog and I are going to go stroll over to this dog park over here and let her run around and, uh, see if she can make some friends. And then wait on, uh, wait on here for the wife and kids and see what they're up to today. You know, again, hope, hopefully the weather turns because that is the one bad thing when we're doing this type of stuff. Like if I didn't have murder dog with me, it'd be a lot easier because, you know, if, if it's a rainy day, like we could take the kids to the mall or a museum or whatever. We can't do that when we have the dog. So we're really trying to find things that we can either do outside or places that we can bring her and the places we can bring her are limited. Um, and the things we could do outside, all weather dependent. So hopefully it clears up today and, uh, we get to do some more fun stuff, but, uh, yeah. And then we'll see where we end up tonight. You know, we might end up back here again. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But, uh, so far, so good. Three nights in the books and, uh, we're still, crank we're still cranking along. So, uh, all is good in the land of quasi van nomads. So I'm going to sign off for now, but thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for continuing to support me in this experience. And uh, please continue with your comments and suggestions. Uh, it, it really, you know, like I said, not only is it helping me as far as, like, ideas, um, 
but it's great for connection, you know, because uh, as much of a hermit as I can be, you know, it's nice to talk to people every once in a while, even if I don't get to do it face to face. It's nice to have interactions with people. And when I'm out on the road by myself, you know, especially at night, once the kids and, and, and the wife are gone, you know, it gets a little lonely here and there. So having those interactions and having people to discuss things with uh, makes all the difference. So please keep it up and uh, please keep watching because there's more to come. And uh, we're going to have some fun, folks. So thank you, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Peace, y'all.